Hello guys, this is Coding Code and this is video editorial for the problem Rationally taken from Code Forces Div 2 Round 652. Now the problem is we are given two arrays, one array of integer that uh, that Lee have uh, and they have values a1 to a n then he have k friends and each friend require exactly w i integers. So he have n integers and he have k friends. Uh, each integer have a1, a2, a3, dash, 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 an value. Now he have k friends. Each friend requires w i integers exactly. So, so uh, important thing here is that uh, sum of all w is equals to n. So basically, you can uh, distribute this e uh, among all of your friend. So the happiness of a friend is defined as the sum of minimum and the maximum value that that friend has. So we have to divide the integers in such a way that we we have to give each friend exactly w i amount of integer in such a way that it maximizes the total happiness of all of the friends. So this is the task. We can understand it using some example. So the first example is we have uh, Lee has four integers 1, 13, 7 and 17 and he has two friends. So four integer two friends and first friend one one integer second friend want three integers so uh, one of the possible distribution which will give us the maximum value is this now i can give first friend which requires only one integer i can give him 17 while the second friend which requires three integers i can give him one seven and 13. now see uh, minimum and the maximum for first friend is 17 and 17 so the happiness of first friend is 34 while the minimum is 1 and th uh, 13 is the maximum for second friend so the happiness of second friend is 14 so 34 plus 14 is 48 that is why the answer is 48 which is the maximum that we can achieve now for the second friend uh, for the second test case we have six integer and two friends the integers are 10 10 10 10 11 11 and both of the friend wants three and three integers we have six integers first friend want three and the second one for uh, second friend as well want three now one of the possible configuration to distribute the integers among two friends is this which will lead us to uh, the total profit 42 uh, giving first friend 10 10 and 11 giving second friend 10 10 and 11 now the happiness of first friend is 21 happiness of second one uh, second friend is 21 again so the overall happiness is 42 which is the maximum you cannot achieve more than this so this is the problem and we have to maximize the sum we have to maximize the uh, some of the happiness of all of the friends so let's see how we will do that now so uh, to solve this problem for uh, first what we are going to do of course we are going to solve ai and wi ai is the integer array that uh, the lee has and this is the requirement of each friend of lee so we are going to sort them in non-decreasing order after that first and the most obvious observation i guess is this for all friends who require only one integer we are going to give them the maximum value what do i mean by that let me explain you with an example so suppose these are the ai values i have already sorted them and similarly for wi the requirement of each friend i've sorted them uh, so this is actually representation of each friend how how much integer they want first friend want one one two three and four these are the requirement i'll be using uh two pointers to explain uh to represent what range we are still uh, what range we still have to distribute from i and j would represent that so i is equals to 1 j is equals to 11 because there are 11 elements so from 1 to 11 uh, this is the valid range which we can use to distribute among, uh, to one of our friends and p is equals to 1 which uh, would represents uh, the starting point of distribution i'll be explaining p in a moment so what it says is that observation 1 all of friends which require only one integer give them the maximum value so what we are going to do from last last available is 11 so we'll first give it 16 and the other friend 15 so 11 and 10 indices have been used to give the friend with value uh, with only one requirement to give them the maximum value possible now the valid range is 1 to 9 because now we are left with only these integers so we have taken care of this part now the second part 
is important and that requires more observation so first of all uh, the minimum value that we have uh, inside our valid range is this index 1 index 1 is having value 0 now this is the minimum value since the sum of the requirement of each friend is equals to the total n which means every single integer will go to some of the friend right now this must go to one of the friend either to this or this or this the minimum value will go to either this or this or this and this is the minimum value which will help us devise our algorithm now since we want to maximize the total sum so of course uh, and the happiness is the sum of minimum and the maximum value so what we are going to do for each friend we are going to give him the maximum value possible so of course 15 and 16 have been already used so i'm going to give one friend 10 another friend the next maximum value which is 7 and uh, another friend the next maximum value which is 6 and this j is going to take care of that we will be giving one value to each friend from maximum and uh, basically we'll be giving from j j is equal to 9 that means represent this integer we'll be giving one of the friend this and then j would reduce we'll give another friend this and then another friend this and we have to do this to maximize the total sum it, it makes no sense to give two maximum value to only a single friend because the the second least value which is just smaller than the maximum value will not be counted because we only uh, only the maximum and the minimum value will be counted so it makes only uh, it only makes sense to give each friend one of the maximum value so one maximum will, value could, will go to this and then this and then this so uh, the the algorithm uh, the main observation that help us to build the algorithm is this the minimum value which friend is going to take this minimum value and what is the next minimum value possible now this minimum value if you give to suppose this friend right so you give 0 to this and 10 to this now the total sum is going to be 10 right but if you are going to fill the next uh, of course if you are going to distribute to some of the other friend what is the next minimum value possible now since we have filled zero already with one of the friend and another maximum value because each friend will give exactly one available maximum value and i have given one maximum value to this friend right so i've given zero and ten to this friend now the next minimum value possible next minimum value possible will always go into our answer because the next minimum value possible will either uh, will go to one of the friends so next minimum value possible is this which is not given to anyone so this will go to either to this or this no matter whether we distribute that integer to this or this that is always going to uh, include it in our result so the next minimum value is one our main motive of the algorithm should be to maximize the next minimum value next minimum value how we can do that instead of filling the minimum values in this friend what we are going to do we are going to fill the minimum value with a maximum uh, requirement available so this friend says okay i need four integers so we say okay you need four integers you will get four integers but since we have to maximize your happiness first of all what we are going to do we are going to give you the maximum value available we are going to give you 10 okay now since we want to maximize the next minimum value current minimum value is zero so what we are going to do we have three places left we are going to fill the three minimum value in here so the next uh, so this will be filled with zero one one and this will be filled with ten so see the next minimum value is going to be three so either you fill with this friend or this friend the next minimum value is going to be better than if you filled it with smaller uh, smaller requirement so it is optimal to start filling the blocks or start providing or fulfilling the requirement of each friend with the one which is having the maximum requirement so that it can maximize the next minimum value because the next minimum value is going to be added into our result no matter what so what we are going to do we are going to we are trying to maximize the next minimum value and that is only possible if we start filling uh, with maximum requirement so that is what we are going to do we are going to start filling with the maximum requirement possible so we will start filling from the last and we'll go till p now what is p here uh, p will uh, represents the uh, re uh, sorry p will represent the index from where at least two requirements start so these two uh, are having one 
requirement and from here we have at least two uh, requirements so p is equals to three here so we will start from k we'll go till p that is the sig uh, significance of p so we will start from k so we will start filling the kth friend first so of course uh, let me show you j was 9 which represents the maximum value so maximum value which is available is 10 so we will be filling 10 here and j would reduce by 1 so j would become 8 after that since we have given maximum value here we will be filling the minimum values minimum values are represented by i pointer i represents 2 uh, from index 1 i points to index 1 so we will be filling 0 and then 1 and then 1 again so i becomes 4 so now we are left with indices from to uh, from 4 to 8 so we have these integers 4 to 8 so we have filled this now of course we we'll go to k minus 1th element and we'll fill this of course first we'll give the maximum value maximum value is represented by j which represents to 7 so which points to 7 so we'll fill 7 and then you will use the uh, i pointer to fill the minimum values so 3 and 5 so these two values now 6 to 7 which means this range now the next friend will fill the maximum by 6 and then minimum by 6 again so this is how we fill it so this way what we are able to do we are able to maximize the next minimum value which will be added into our answer so it only uh, it is uh, optimal to always maximize the next minimum value and that is what this approach does so if i show you the implementation implementation is as easy as this here it is so there are t test cases each test case starts with n and k and then we are reading ar array this this is a for for loop which runs from 1 to n so we are reading a value and then b value this is actually w array i am reading in array br so we are sorting ar and br both the arrays after that the result is initialized to 0 i is equals to 1 j is equals to n right and then p is equals to 1 so p would be 1 we'll start from here and first we'll make sure to fill the requirement of all friends which are having only requirement 1 so while p is less than equals to k because k are the maximum number of friends and b r of p which basically represents their uh, requirement is equals to 1 if that's so that then we would add in the result a r of j j represents the maximum available j remember represent uh, represents the maximum available value of course we have to give the maximum that is why a r of j would be added two times into the result j would reduce by one and p will increment by one and this will run till uh, we have uh, fulfilled the requirement of all of the friend which were having only requirement as one after that of course we would start from k remember after we have done uh, satisfied the requirement of all the friend which are having requirement one we would start from k because we have to first fill the biggest value then smaller and then smaller and so on so we would start from k here so q is starting from k q is greater than or equals to p q minus minus now when you are starting from let me go back to i guess just a second now we are starting here so now the range is one to nine and we went to fill this now if you are filling this in the result of course you are sure that this value will be added in your result uh the value which is pointed by j right value pointed by j is 10 so this will be added into your result so that is what is happening here in the result we are adding ar of j and of course the minimum value available when you are starting to fill your requirement is ar of i so ar of i will also be added in your result so that is why in the result we are adding ar of i and ar of j now j would reduce by one because the maximum value you have used to fill one place and then i would increment by one because ar of i and j both you have used so of course uh, j would reduce by one and i would increment by one after that the in the requirement we are reducing two because uh, if there were x number of cells to be filled we have already filled two cells so that is what is happening here the count of cells are being reduced by two after that if there there is a still requirement left what we are doing we are simply incrementing i because we do not have to actually fill any any array we do not have have any array like this 
uh, and it doesn't matter what we are filling inside we only have to increment the i pointer and reduce the requirement so while there is some requirement increment i and reduce the requirement after that simply print the result so this was all for this lecture i hope you have understood uh, the concept how to solve this problem if you have any doubt or query of course you can ask me in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video keep coding thank you